In this tutorial, we are going to see how the real time trend works. We create a new window, name it as real time trend, then OK. Expand the window and select a slider from wizard selection. Make it a slider. Now tag into slider as S1 with label that is temperature. Okay. Now I'll take a real time frame. Double click on the graph. Here we have to insert the pane. There is one S1, that is our temperature color for that, and time span. We'll select uh, one second, then click on OK. Then go to the runtime. Now, as I move the temperature, you can see it on real time trend. Will time span as a minute and interval that is one second. So OK. Go to run time. Now, as I move the temperature, you can see it is plotted on the graph. That is time versus temperature. Now let's see how it automatically works. For that, we have to give the window script. For that, right click on the window, go to the window script, and write it the script. Then if S1 is less than 100, then S1 equals to S1 plus 1 else s1 equal to 0 and if I click on valid here you can 1 millisecond every 1 millisecond and click on OK. Now go to the runtime. You see the temperatures automatically increments, and you can see it on real time graph. The temperatures, as the temperature vary, the graph vary. This time versus temperature. In this way, we can obtain the real time graphs. In this real time graph, we can add up to the four inputs. So, adding one more input, adding two more input that is temperature, I'll add one more slider that is three inputs. Now 
to tag them to the okay. 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 Save. Then third one will indicate and label as a pressure. Click on OK. Define as 3 OK. Then click on Save. Close. Then we have to change the window script also. Copy the same window script and paste it. Instead of S1, change to S2. In the graph also we have to add these two new inputs that is humidity and pressure we define the humidity as s2 so we'll give it as s2 and we'll define pressure as s3 so we'll give it as s3 and there's a different color change the color to blue then click on ok and go to the runtime Now in this real time graph, you can see all the three graphs. But they are incrementing by one. They are all incrementing by one. So it's not clear. We will change it. Go to the window script. Give it as a one. Here it as a four. And here it as a seven. Then click on OK. Go to run time. Now we can see the all three graphs. In this way, you can obtain real-time graphs.